Good news, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Thomcraft 6. And last time I recorded, I sat down and recorded like three episodes. But uh, so the first one just went out today. And I noticed there's a new version of Thomcraft where this thing is going to close. So uh, Asnor said that he fixed this stuff. And uh, he also fixed the fall damage. Didn't even take any there. Yeah, because now it stacks with the boots and the cloud stepper ring. Look at that. Oh, man, that was half a heart of damage. That was nice. Let's try it again. Boom. Perfect. Guys, I love it. All right, so now pretty much I just got to wait. Um, I think the size of the rift determines the strength of the taint seed that spawns. So I'm just going to have to wait for that thing to spawn up and uh, and then kill it. Which shouldn't really matter because I'm pretty, you know, pretty well versed with zapping the crap out of it. Uh, however, let's go down. And I want to see something really quick. Uh, where's my bauble bag? I guess it's in the bauble inventory, right? So the focus pouch, not bauble bag, uh, focus. Okay, blank lesser focus. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down and make a new focus, and I don't think I have any, do I? Focus. Nope, I don't have any in there. All right, so focus, and I want to make the advanced focus. So that's going to be an ender pearl, two quicksilver, a lesser focus, and a diamond. So in order to make the lesser focus, we need the ordo, vitreous, precontatio, and aurum. So I'm going to go ahead and whip this stuff up. And also, down here, I did a little bit of work off the camera. And boom. Let's turn this one on. Pink. Let's turn this one on. And let's turn this one on. So now look at it. It's actually working. It says very stable. So I'm not sure if that's going to make much of a difference. But I'm hoping it would. Because if you think about it, you can have one, two, three. You could have a fourth. You could have one on the top, so five of them, if they do stack, uh, you could have five of them zapping this thing and make it really stable, so that would be kind of nice. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on making this stuff, and I'll be right back. Actually, I lied. Uh, I'm not going to make that stuff <laughs> yet. Look at this! Oh man, our tank focus is finally gone. Or our tank rift is finally gone, and now I can zap the crap out of this thing. Oh, guys. Oh, such a joyous day today. Oh, man, I love it. All right, how are we looking on uh, on that stuff? 40, oh, wow. Whoa. 135.7? We're going to have another rift here soon. Okay. Um, well, anyway, I can go fill up that hole now, and all will be well. Oh, and look at that. I just heard something happen. I was like, what is that noise? And, uh, well. Ugh. And we got another one. Look at how it's like a baby rift. So I'm probably going to have to just sit here for a minute and wait for this thing to do its thing. Oh, look at that. I can now scan the rift. I wasn't able to do that before. But now we've got... Yeah, and it's growing. It's going to ruin our tree. I might as well just leave it up there, see what happens. Let's just chop down the tree. Not a big deal. All right, guys. I am currently getting all the required Ordo and Precantatio. Um, I've got... Uh, well, there's none in there now. We're basically just waiting for this to, to go down. Um, but, yeah, all this stuff... Oh, you know what? It's filling up that stuff first. Yeah, I see the void. Or, not the void, the, uh, the flux. But anyway, something else. Look at this stuff, guys. We've got some new research in the Fundamentals tab. And the first one is Flux Rifts. 
As I suspected, these tears are holes in reality itself. The chaotic energies that flow from them is extremely dangerous, and I should find a way to close these rifts as soon as possible. My observations of the rift itself has revealed some interesting things, however. The rifts actually seem to feed on flux. The more flux there is in the environment, the larger they grow. They also grow more unstable over time, and eventually this instability causes a burst of pure chaotic energy. This energy can take many forms and is seldom a good thing. Fortunately, they regain some stability when this happens. The severity of that chaos burst depends on the size of the rift. Even though I can't close them yet, maybe I can find some way of keeping them stable. Alright, we have closing flux rifts and flux cleanup. Let's follow along the lines of closing the flux rift. I need to find a way of closing these flux rifts before they grow too large and unstable. Alright, so we need two alchemy theories and one oromancy theories. Let's take a look at flux cleanup. Oh man, I have made a mess of things. I have allowed flux to build up in the aura and now I need to get rid of it fast. Unfortunately, er, fortunately, the answer might be found in one of the unique properties of flux. Technically, flux is just dirty V. But what sets it apart is the fact that it can easily transform from a form of energy into physical matter. This makes it dangerous as it can spawn taint and other forms of nastiness, but maybe it can also be coaxed into safer forms. All right, so we need some oromancy theories. All right, oromancy, a whole bunch, three of them, and two alchemies. Man, all right, we got a lot of work ahead of us, but let's get this stuff going here because I wanna, I wanna be prepared. All right, so we got that and we got that. Let's see how this works out. So if we get that there and that there. All right, so let's just make sure. I think it's 50 Ordo and 25 Precantatio uh, to make that thing. Is it under here? No, it's under Artifice. No, nope, where is it? It's under Alchemy. Nope, <laughs> it's under Oromancy. All right, Advanced Foci, right there. All right, 50 Ordo, 25 Precantatio, and instability is minor, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Oh, I didn't even turn these on. It says stable right now. It says unstable, but it's throwing some bursts of energy in there. You see it going? It still says unstable. It hasn't improved. Now it's dangerously unstable. All right, it popped off some of that. That's not cool at all. And it just popped it off again, didn't it? Oh, no, it didn't. So there we go. Now it says dangerously unstable for some reason. And we've got taint just oozing up from, or like flux just oozing up from this stuff. What if I just left that there? That's crazy. So let's put something down there. And let's just see what happens where it says dangerously unstable. Now it says stable. Okay, so that stuff's going away. It says stable. And let's take a look at the V in the area. It doesn't seem to be going down. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong chunk. Now it says stable. That's still there. Yeah, it's going down. It's eating it up. 95, 96.2, 96.3, 96.5, 95.6. So even with the three of these running, it doesn't really do a whole lot of uh, draw from the local aura. Now it's just stable still. Because before it said very stable, so I'm wondering why or how. Hmm, that's weird. I'm going to shut these off, though. Hmm, interesting. Interesting stuff there, that stuff is. All right, so now we've got the, the blank advanced focus. Let's go ahead and get the advanced focus in here. We're going to go with a bolt of I do really like the uh the frost one though. That is like awesome. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, we've got Rift. Oh, man, we should do that one. All right, but in, no, we're not going to. Not yet. So Frost, I can make this a little better. We can amp up the power all the way and then just get the duration as long as I can possibly get it. There, a duration of 10. 5V per thing. It takes uh, Potentia and Jellum Shards. All right, do I have any of those? No, nah, I don't. All right, so Potentia and Jellum. Let's get one of these, and let's get one of these. Oh, actually, let's put those back. Potentia and Ordo. And Precontatia. We'll put them all back while we're at it. And that. Okay, so instead of doing that, we're going to grab two glass vials. We'll get Potentia and Jellum. And then we'll get that in there, and we'll grab some of these. And we'll turn that off, and we'll get the right thing. All right, that one is Jellum. All right, let's look for that little Jellum thing. There it is. Let's turn that one off, get Precontatio, or Potentia in there. And let's get those made. Get that turned off. We'll just leave those in there for now. Uh, that should be it. It's not very complex. Eight attack damage versus what is my one, I wonder. Uh, my f other one is power of four. So I'm going to put this old one right in there. Oh, and we're going to call this Advanced chill boat. Yeah, I remembered to name it that time. How about that, guys? Advanced chill boat, bolt, 25 total complexity, maxed it out. And that should be finished in just a moment. So I can put the Quicksilver back. I can put those back up in there. And while that's going. Let's check on our thing. It's getting a little bigger, it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, that's a good screenshot right there. Oh, that looks cool. Here, maybe I'll adjust it. Something like that. Oh, so it's just floating up there. It's like an M. Oh, I gotta get a quick one. It's like an M for Marty. <laughs> now it looks like a wig. Now, now it's not. <laughs> All right, let's get that back over there. Uh, there is that. Um, oops, wrong one. Ender pearls go in there, and diamonds go in there. All right, that thing should be about done by now, right? There it is. Advanced chill bolt. So let's get the advanced chill bolt in our thing, and let's see how how quick it kills stuff. creepers oh it takes a long time now oh it's not rapid fire like it used to be guys is there a better gauntlet I can make I wonder gauntlet. Oh, yeah, it's pretty slow. Duration seconds 10, power 5. So my old one was power 4. Did, did I just, like, headshot him? So he's chilled for a while. I guess it evens out. Except for skeletons, because I shoot. Alright, creeper. Oh, it's still three hits. There's one. There's two. 
and three. Eh, not as good. Not as good. I like the other one because it's faster. Alright, so let's head back. Let's wait for this thing to go. Still nothing. Alright, um... We gotta work on getting these, uh... Stuff in the thumb... Thumbonomicon. So we need to work on getting... One of these. I think we're gonna go Flux Cleanup first. Uh, two Oromancy. And then a vial of Vitium. I have never seen this one before. Inspired. Inspired by the process you have made so much far. 99 Oromancy. Look at this. I got my two right there. Holy crap. I might get three off that. I did get three. Sweet. So now for that one, all I need to do is uh, two of the alchemy. But Flux Cleanup and Vitium. Let's grab a vial of Vitium. And we are on our way to doing some Flux Cleanup, guys. All right, check it out. Complete. Nice. We've got two things. Flux Condenser Lattice and Flux Condenser. I've managed to find an, find a way of turn pure... Find a way to turn pure flux into the aura into flux. Oh my gosh, let me please push me. All right, let's start over. I have managed to find a way of turn pure flux in the aura into flux essentia. Flux essentia is hardly Draw benign. flux from the aura and force it to become essentia, yeah, and so. the resulting flux essentia can be drained from the bottom. The condenser is not all that is flux from the aura. It, oh my god, does, however, increase the Essentia cost. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Let me uh, skim this really quick. Holy crap. Okay, interesting. So basically, you make, like, a sale of the lattices. So the sale will collect stuff. However, it will filter. So it's like, um, let me grab a couple regular blocks here. So let's say you've got your condenser, which is going to be said red blocks. All right. So this is going to be your condenser. Oh, oh my gosh. This is going to be your condenser. All right. So you set the lattices in an eight block range. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the most you can do for the lattices, eight blocks from it. So you can also go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go eight out that way from what it sounded like something like that but if this one collects something it all goes down here to to get outputted to the bottom of the thing so if this one happens to break oops <laughs> unintended nothing right here will get through so it's a uh, kind of an interesting Interesting concept. We're going to mess with it and see what happens. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, did it fall all the way down? These are all primal, so I'm just going to take them. Um, okay, that was not too bad at all. So it said one... It said one flux will be removed per every ten essentia. And also, we need some pipes. Let's grab a directional valve. Let's grab this. Maybe I should make a couple more directional valves. Um, there we go. We'll get like four of them. All right, we want some of these. And I should probably put those back. Whoa, I went through a lot. Like, it was just the other day, I, I stocked them all up to, like, 64. Um, okay, so in this chunk here, we're just going to set this one up. Is this where the rift is? No, the rift is in this chunk. All right, so if we go... Let's look at the thing again. Okay, lattice blocks must be attached to the top of the condenser. Okay. 
Um, where does it show? Essentia can be piped into the sides and drained from the bottom. Okay, so we have an empty one. No, I didn't grab an empty one. Of course I didn't. Why would I do that? That just makes sense. Why would I do that? Let's grab that. So that should give me vitium, right? So if we get that there, we get our flux condenser here. Oh, that looks cool. All right, so then we get our lattice. Like so. Oh, and then we get some Essentia tubes into the side. Maybe I can go here, 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 and we'll leave that side open. So we'll, we'll get the aqua one here. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll get the Terra one here. We'll get ourselves the Ignis one here. And then I could just expand. I could I could have just gone all like that, possibly. Potentially. Mode spooky out, guys. I mean, that should work, right? I don't see why it wouldn't. Oh, did you see that? We've got one Vitium in there. Nice. <gasps> Dang it. <gasps> We just released it. We just released it. All right, so that's another one that went in there. So it's kind of working. It's kind of grabbing stuff, right? So how do I know? Oh, actually, it should be green. So how do I clean a, cl a clogged one? I've got two now, so it's still pretty slow. So it has to be attached to the top. So I'm wondering if maybe I branch them out that way. I mean, they're not cheap to make because when you make one, it's fine. But when you make eight of them, it's it's not. <laughs> so let's see. We've got 11.9 in this chunk. It's still 11.9. It's going down, so that's uh, that's good. But it's sitting below my maximum threshold where my regular aura is going up. Oh, and. So now I've got three whole whopping points. Those all look like they're operating correctly. 11.9 still. And I've got four. So where did that come from? Eleven point nine. And how much of this stuff is it? Oh, it's actually taking quite a bit. I mean, that's down to 96. Look how quick it goes. So now we should have five. Still at 11.9, though. That doesn't make sense. That one's up to 20. So does it grab from just the one chunk? Let's find that out. Let's see if it, show, it says. Hmm... Connected, multi block. Or, uh, doesn't say whether I can attach many lattice blocks, but lattice pieces further than eight blocks from the condenser will automatically detach. Uh, this eight block benefit at large a lattice piece provides is reduced for each other lattice piece that is connected to. A single bro unbroken line of lattice would be best for configuration. Okay, uh, I can simply use a resonator. Oh. Essentia resonator? Okay, before we do that, 11.9 still. I mean, it's not really going down, but it's going into the, the thing. Uh, so our Essentia resonator is right here. Cost 12 Essentia, 
12 ticks is 25 seconds, so every 25 seconds I'll get one. I don't want to break these because I don't want to release any Essentia or Flux back into the atmosphere. All right, so that's actually going up to 135.2, but still we're at 11.9 Flux. That one's at 20. That one's at 30.3. It's 18.7, and that one's 11.9. So it seems as though we have a good way to deal with this now, which is really good. Plus, we can do something with all this extra Terra that you get, because it seems like everything you break down is Terra. <laughs> it has Terra. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is make another... See? Look at that. I had another Terra right there. And I've got another Terra right here. I'm just going to put them all on there. All Terra, all day. <laughs> Welcome to the Thumbcraft 6 channel. All Terra, all day. <laughs> Coming live with all Terra. Okay, that's Ignis. That's Terra. Get that in there. Terra Bull. There's another Terra right there. We'll take that one. We'll get some Terra up in there. Up in there. Terra. All right, so that Terra's gone. So now we're working on these Terras. All right, so that's that. There's a wisp. The wisp must die. Get him! Zap him! Zap him, Cletus! He's one of them flying magic balls. There we go. It's working. Ruining my farm with all this stuff. Ooh, that had stuff in it. That was not good stuff either. So did we go up? 11.5. So it must have went down and then went back up when I just broke that. I don't know. Maybe it was down to like 10.9 or something. Uh, well, that's good. We'll leave that thing going. I do like it. I think it's pretty amazing. And it, now, everybody, we have a way to manage our flux, which is really good. 13.5. Yep, that's what it was. There was a lot <laughs> of vidium in that. Or a lot of flux. Oh, there's a clogged one. Look at that. So what do we do to unclog it? Uh, first, we need to get some blocks to go up there. So do I just need to make a new one? Or can I just break it and put in my crafting inventory and say to hell with it? All right, so that one's broken. So we get all those back. Where did the broken? Oh, the broken one's here. So uses for that, I don't know. So I'm going to have to get back up here and get that one down and that one down. How do I fix this? So what happens when it's clogged? I should scan it. Nothing. I didn't get anything from it. All right, let's see. Anything happen when this thing's clogged? Uh, all last pieces will no longer, okay, they'll start to the filter can be replaced by clicking on the clog with the fly can be replaced by clicking on the clog lattice piece with a fresh one all right let's put it back up and make another one i don't know if it just uh replaces it or what but let's see lattice lattice all right two of those one of those oh man okay. that goes there Thalmium plate. I don't have any. At least I didn't see any. So we need two thalmium plates. That. And then six of those fancy dancy pieces of quartz. So now we've got... Oops. What am I doing? Trying to rush. Alright. Let's get that up there. So we're going to put the bad one back and then put and then right click with the good one. Oh, that 
That didn't do it. That didn't do it. That's for sure. Oh, Jesus. What did it say? Did it not just say that? The filter can be replaced by clicking on the clogged lattice piece with a fresh one. A fresh what? Oh, jeez, man. that meant so I might be doing something wrong I don't know but we've got 22 video in here now that's pretty good and we are down to 11 so okay so we got some stuff done which was good learned a little bit stuff with uh, managing flux and next time I want to get into doing the closing the flux rift so all I need to do is get some theory of alchemy so that's pretty cool. We've got the flux condenser, guys. And it is a crazy, crazy cool contraption, actually. Oh, oh my goodness. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. My name is Marty, signing out. Peace.